want to be your cultural chair. Coming into SU, I identified myself as American, but now I realize I'm Filipino American, and I will never forget that. <laughs> so, I'm willing to learn more about my culture, and I want to learn it with all of you and incoming freshmen who have the same mindset as me. I'm Nadine, and I'm also running for cultural chair, and I believe that I'm very qualified since I have a lot of experience with being a club leader in high school and making programs, and I want to make programs that really bring out our cultural awareness and um, some fun ideas like, let's do a taste tester of a bunch of Filipino sauces like bago ong and some like lumpia sauce, and just do some creative things to really shed light on the Filipino community while bringing a sense of belonging for everyone. Okay. All right. um, <clears throat> hello everyone, I'm Brandon and I'm running for cultural chair as well. Um, so this fall quarter I actually studied abroad in China so I've immersed myself in a different culture so I understand what is, how it is to learn another culture and I believe that I can help you guys learn more about our own culture and um, I know how to speak Tagalog, Visaya and Mandarin so I'm very responsible. Just, 
or have like a game show with, I don't know, what does this like all the word mean? And look it up and all that. Um, I feel like as first generation, I feel like most of us in this room are first generation Filipino students, so you may be the first in your family to experience American culture. And I feel like it's important for us um, Filipinos who are in America to continue passing down the culture that our parents brought to us, maybe Filipino parenting skills. <laughs> I think we should focus more of um, like local or OPM songs, which are songs composed in the Philippines, sang by Filipinos and all that. I have another online question. Um, it's from Jedrick Veray, and he is cultural chair um, at one point in his PFC career. And he said, um, cultural chair is one that you can really make your own. Um, so how do you intend on making culture change your own? Um, by promoting culture and engaging um, the rest of the club. Well, I would try to make a lot of events that would promote our culture, not only for this club, but for um, outside, like all the other SC students. Like I was thinking, not to take their idea, but like then to make one, we could like try to learn it in the quad, and then if some people wanted to join, they could join. Yeah, I, I agree with um, Eska and making more programs, and I feel like we should have more get-togethers get where we make our own Filipino food and make potlucks and bring it all together and sit down as one big Filipino family and just discuss what's going on in our life, because I feel like in this club, it's essentially us making a lot of connections with people who have similarities with each other and also differences in the way we portray ourselves as Filipinos. Um, how do you intend on making culture chair your own um, while uplifting the, I guess, responsibilities of culture chair? Uh, <laughs> I think it's important to um, share with others uh, what our culture is about because many people don't really know what. Um, know about Filipino culture even though they've heard of us, they don't really know anything. So uh, and of course, or one thing I can do is also try to plan events that will help promote not only within our club but also with uh, people outside of the club and um, especially non-Filipinos so they can learn um, our culture and how great it is. Oh, I think we can turn on taking our idea of karaoke nights. <laughs> 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 I'll see you at uh, movie nights more often, like my daddy started. And then I can bring dinner from Johnny B. Because <laughs> 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 I can see that with my family every Wednesday. It has made us even more closer to each other, and I want to achieve that closeness with each and every single one of you. <laughs>